Look, Jen, look. I'm crazy, Norman Bates. I'm crazy. I'm going to get you with this cheese. No, Drew, no. What did we say about stabbing with food? Food is for eating, not for stabbing. I'm just an average gal with an average life. I drink nine cups of joe. Hey, hell, I pay the price. All I want is to be left alone in my caffeine zen. But why do I always feel like I'm in the loony bin? Sometimes I feel like there's coffee in my cheese with a hint of lavender. Whoa. Sometimes I feel like there's coffee in my cheese. Tell me, is it just a dream? Hi, welcome to Fine Dining. I'm Munster. And I'm Limburger. Today we're going to try something new and let you know whether the dining is fine or should be left behind. So what's on the menu? So today we have an interesting cheese from Aldi. We love cheese and we love Aldi. We do. This is from their Selection Emporium line of cheeses. Fancy. And it is called Hashtag But First Coffee. Oh, that's so modern of them. That's so <laughs> hashtag 2021. <laughs> it is artisan cheddar rubbed with espresso and lavender. That's a strange combination. Mm -hmm. Is this going to taste like caffeinated grandma? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it's going to taste like, but I have to admit I was intrigued. Oh, I don't see how we couldn't give this a try. Right. Okay, so when it, on the plate, when I took it out of the package, it totally looked like an extremely dense slice of Oreo cheesecake. Yeah, it looked amazing. Yeah. So, and um, it smells cheese. It smells cheesy. Yeah, it smells mm -hmm. like cheese. Okay, so it's really pretty. Yes. And um, it comes in just a little wedge, and they had some other flavors, too, in this particular, uh, like, when they come out at Aldi with something, usually there's a couple of different flavors to choose from in that particular little bunch of things. Yeah, little clusters. So this one is the one that just looked the most um, different, intriguing, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, coffee and lavender and cheese. Come on. Yeah. So we're going to give it a try. Yeah. We are brave and bold and daring. It might be our last review if this, you know, kills us. <laughs> okay, so it has this really nice dark edge, which is the espresso side, I guess. Yeah. The espresso rubbed. A couple little sprinkles of, I guess, the espresso mm -hmm. dust. Yeah. Okay, so in the, with the smell, there is a little bit of a... It doesn't smell like coffee. No. This is Maybe it's like that a... lavender, but it's not a strong lavender. No. It's kind of herby like. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Are you tasting from. The let's dark taste side? from the dark side. Ooh, <laughs> from the dark we're side. Gonna take a walk on the dark side. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So that's pretty good. It is weirdly good. Weirdly good is a good way to put it. It's weirdly good. Um. I mean, the primary taste is cheddar. Yeah. You can tell it is a cheddar cheese. Yes. And then there's just this little hint of something, which um, I think, I still think that the lavender might be more pronounced than the coffee. What do you hmm. think? Honestly, I don't know what lavender tastes like. I only know what it smells like because what have I ever eaten that's lavender? Well, that's true. I mean... I don't Slightly usually eat fruity? things. I mean, what is the, no. what, what's the. It's just herby kind of tasting to me. <laughs> like the, I've never, I don't eat a lot of things with lavender in it either. But the one thing I can think of eating is they used to have this bread at Kroger that was like an herbs de Provence Ooh. and it had lavender in there and it was really good. Well, there you go. So, um, I mean, yeah. Since we don't eat lavender a lot, often what I think of is just horribly smelling cleaning products or yeah. something. Yeah. 
But this I'm getting the, like, maybe just because we add from the dark side, but there's the espresso. You can taste that going on. It, it works well with cheddar cheese. It does. Strangely. It, it goes mean, like, uh, it. yeah, it definitely goes together. You can tell it's like, um, it makes me think of like those cooking shows where people are... Have to com combine crazy yeah, ingredients. Yeah, combine crazy things to create good things. I mean, to create delicious things. It's, I mean... I guess I should state, I love cheese. Who doesn't? Of course. Right? Hashtag team cheese. I love cheese, but I'm not like some connoisseur. Like, I, I don't have a cheese of the month club, and I don't know immediately what kind of cheese is something or, yes. you know. Like, I, I know I like cheese and everything, but I'm not like, you know, it's kind of like being a wine snob. A cheese snob is like... Yes. There are people who are really into cheeses, and I don't want to pretend that I am that. We are not wine snobs. We are not cheese snobs. No. We're just regular folk. Yes. So, the, I think it just uh, it adds something to it. Yeah. If I had anything negative to say about it, is that there might be a little bit of a texture thing hmm? that um, it's just the slightest, slightest bit grainy. Well, yeah, but that's probably the espresso dust. I don't yeah, mind maybe, the grain. Maybe. It's bringing some texture. I mean, normally it you It looks very smooth, but there, but the taste is kind of... There are some granules yeah, in there. But yeah. I don't mind. But the taste is good. Yeah. And, um, and it definitely would... You could slice it up and put it on your charcuterie board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have massive fears about this. Coffee, lavender, and cheese could have been... Mm -hmm. The nightmare of all nightmares. Right. It's subtle. It's not like a, you know. <laughs> oh, no. Mostly you get cheddar cheese and the other is little hints of other flavors. Right. And it doesn't taste like um, Lavender Fabuloso. Yes. Which is also always good. Which is fabuloso to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, all right. So, you want to give it a rating? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So, I... I think I'm going to give it a seven. Seven. I'm going to go seven and a half just because I, I really kind of expected it to be bad. And we go with a clean slate when we're actually tasting it. But just on paper, it just seemed like it was a gimmick. The name has a hashtag in it. I mean, yeah, that's it's, true. It's our first hashtag product review. And we have to, I mean, we, I have to admit, we have, well, we both have to admit because we agreed to get this to review it. It was a little bit the wackiness of the idea that made us get it. Right. I suspect that 90% of their sales are just people like, well, that's weird. I got to give that a try. Mm -hmm. They want the Instagram hits. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, but boy, did they make it look pretty. Yes. That's one of it the really most really made it look cheeses. pretty. And, it, and they made it look appetizing. Yes. And it tastes good. I don't know. I think this is what one would consider a snacking cheese. I don't see using it in any like cooking application oh, no. or anything. This is like the kind that you'd slice and eat on a cracker. tray, a cracker with some other stuff maybe. But it's it's like a it's like a snacking cheese. Yeah. Or I don't know, if you wanted to make the crazy gourmet grilled cheese, maybe you could Yeah. work that in there. Well, that's true. And you know, you could probably, like, uh, grate it. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. I mean, just like any cheddar cheese would make a exactly. good grilled cheese, I guess. And then the idea of that lavender is always just, like, since we don't eat it a lot, it yeah. was a little bit scary, but um, but it it's good. I didn't want it to taste like caffeinated grandma, and it doesn't. So. <laughs> it's really, really good. Okay, so um, if you see it, Pick it up and give it a try. Maybe there are other... I'm sure there are other coffee cheeses out there. Oh, there must they be They probably guaranteed. exist somewhere. Yeah. Um, At fancy schmancy places that we don't go so much. Yeah. So. And we just happen to find this one. Right. But um, but so, yeah, don't turn your nose up. Yeah. Expand your horizons. Go for some lavender coffee cheddar cheese. Even if it does have hashtag but first coffee, which is a bit lame. <laughs> it is. Also, even though it looks just like Oreo cheesecake, it doesn't taste like that. No.
<laughs> when you take it out of the package, you're going to be like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good way to punish your kid. You'd be like, look, we got some cake for you. They'd be like, oh, yay, cake. Ah! <laughs> what have you done to me? <laughs> me yeah. Hey, where'd that cheese go? From this Taco Bell. Um, I'm in here. Drew, this is the third cheese you've wasted on this nonsense. I regret nothing.